Ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to speak to you about 3D printing. Now, you may have heard of 3D printing already, that's probably quite likely, you may well know what it is all about, um, but I would like to just explain this phenomenon to you, this recent technique which has been created. Now I say recent, but it's, own, it's not that recent entirely, it's only been in the last few years, however, that we have really started speaking about it a lot and it's become a lot more common to hear about it you know, on the news or um, in a magazine. So what exactly is 3D printing? Well, current uh, well, printing techniques that we're more used to would involve printing on a sheet of paper. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means that you would have your printer plugged in to your computer and you would have a document on the computer and you click on print then the information is sent through a cable digitally to your printer. Then your printer uses the white, uh, the blank sheets of paper that it has in its uh, paper tray to, um, well, it these sheets of paper are picked up by the machine, fed through, and there is a tiny little nozzle in each printer which sprays ink onto the page, and it does this with such precision that it allows the characters in your document to be seen. So, uh, 3D printing, how is it different to that? Well, it takes the same principle, it has a uh, there is a printer which might be linked up to a computer and you might have a design which is sent digitally through to the printer and then this design is printed using a nozzle which moves over a surface in a similar way. Except the difference is that it's not exactly ink that's used but material that can build up one layer on top of another. And this means that as many layers are put together, then uh, a, an object can take shape. The, um, okay, well, this is, uh, as I was saying, this is 3D printing, but the other name for it is also additive manufacturing. Now, why do we say additive manufacturing? Well, up until now, traditional manufacturing methods have been what we could call subtractive manufacturing. This means that you might take a block of metal or you might take a, a block of stone or plastic or any other material and you, would, you, you might file away or um, chip away at the substance in the, or at, at the material in order to remove parts of it and that would leave you with a shape. Um, another technique of manufacturing is of course using a mould um, but that has its own difficulties as well. Um, 3D printing offers many different advantages which I'm going to go into in a few minutes uh, over the next few speeches that we have on this topic and it has many advantages but also many disadvantages. It will also mean that there may be many changes that are brought about to our lives in many different ways in the near future. And as a matter of fact, this is why I'm interested in the topic of 3D printing. I first heard about 3D printing about uh, three years ago when I picked up an article and I started reading about all the many effects that it would have as a phenomenon. I read how our society could see huge changes. I read how we, could, we might even see a revolution in manufacturing um, similar to the revolution that we saw with information th thanks to the internet. Now with the internet, w the fact that we can exchange information so easily has led to huge changes in our society and that these changes could there could be similar changes which are seen also thanks to 3D printing but I'll go into those later on. So 3D printing is now um, in the news more and more often you might hear about it a lot more than you did
did um, a couple of years ago. And this is because a lot of the technology is gathering pace. We're seeing that there are lots of promising changes. There are all different techniques which are now possible with 3D printing. So 3D printing up until now um, has mainly used molten plastic as its ink, as it were. This means that you might have a cartridge which is uh, like an ink cartridge in a traditional printer, but you would have, a, instead of ink, you have a block of plastic which is then mel melted down and this is then carefully sprayed by the machine uh, layer upon layer to create your object. But nowadays it's not just metal, it's not just, sorry, it's not just plastic that is used, but also metals um, and a whole load of other materials are being investigated and researched to see if we can create products in a more intricate way with more, uh, with a wider variety of materials. There are lots of other improvements that are being made in terms of 3D printing. For example, the thinner the layers are, that are created, then the more intricate the product is that is created. And there are all sorts of new techniques that are being brought about. I was reading just now about one type of um, 3D printing which has only just been invented recently. It was created by two brothers who were very interested in 3D printing, but they found that it was far too expensive. Like with traditional printing, what happens is that those who produce 3D printers and who sell them charge very high prices for the ink or for the materials necessary to produce, to use on a 3D printer. So the two brothers got fed up with this and they decided that they would create their own alternative. They decided that instead of using plastic or metal, they would use a material they have around them everywhere. So they chose paper, and what they did is they created a system which does the following. It, uh, the 3D printer takes a sheet of paper and it sprays very small amounts of glue uh, on, very, on different parts of the paper and then a next, another uh, piece of paper is placed on top, pressed down, glued together, um, and another a uh, thin film of glue is sprayed on top in the right places with uh, another sheet of paper being placed on top and then gradually this piles up until you have your um, object. And the object can also be of many different colours uh, because you can colour the paper before you do the process of piling the sheets on top of each other. And when you get your final product it actually feels quite like wood when you hold it in your hand. Now this is no surprise because wood, uh, so paper is essentially made out of wood in the first place. So this is, um, I've got many more things to say, unfortunately I'm out of time on this speech, so I'll um, take a break here and I'll continue in the next speech to mention all of the other things I said I would speak about regarding 3D printing. Thank you.